What's going on guys? I'm here to show you guys how to sim. Um, I'm basically only going to show you the important parts, the parts that I would sim, which are I get my scales from Simulation Craft and I sim trinkets to find out which trinkets uh, are the best. So I'm not going to really go into much detail. I'm going to show you how to get everything. I'm going to show you Pawn, the add-on. Um, just basically I'm going to show you how I set my stuff up and how I sim my own character. If you want to find out how to sim your gear that's not trinkets, then I would probably find another video. Um, but I don't even use that. I don't really sim my gear. I just use Pawn for that. And I'll show you how to do that. So basically, you're going to first want to download Pawn and Simulation Craft as add-ons. So if you go to Curse Client here, here's Pawn here. You download this one, and you download Simulation Craft right here. So after those are done, you're going to download Simulation Craft for Windows. I'm going to put this link in the description. These are nightly builds, which are kind of like betas. They're, they're the most updated ones. So if you go to the, the Simulation Craft official website and download from there, they won't be uh, fully updated. You're going to want to get the beta builds, which is for now, as this video, as this video has been made, it's going to be 71502 Windows 64 right here. So you're going to download that. Again, I'll put this in the, dis in the description. Um, after that, it's going to take you to this, of course. Um, just disregard this. This is saying you basically have a beta, bu beta build, so download the regular version here, but don't do that. So some people like to import from their armory, but uh, I think that it's kind of off sometimes because armory doesn't update right away. So the best way to do this is to go to simulate. Uh, let's just get rid of that real quick. If you open a new tab, this is what's going to come up. Nothing. There's going to be three lines here that you don't have to worry about. So you're going to go into WoW. You're going to go slash sim C. It's going to highlight everything for you right here. So it's already highlighted. You're just going to press control C, copy that. Then you're going to go back to simulation craft. You're going to paste that right underneath these lines. So once this is done, you're going to actually before you do anything go to options and make sure scaling is on for windwalker monks you're going to click agility crit haste mastery versatility so basically whatever your main stats are your four main stats or five main stats you're going to click and that's good enough and you're going to make sure enable scaling is clicked um, in globals you're going to make sure number of enemies is one for now your iterations can be up to a hundred thousand so i would put a hundred thousand it basically, it, the, the more number of iterations basically takes away more RNG from your DPS. So 100,000 is, is pretty good. I would go for 100,000. Um, after that, you don't need to touch anything else in options. You're going to go simulate. You're going to click simulate, and it's going to get your scales for you. Now, your scales are going to come up here after that's done. Um, down here, I'll, I'll explain it after this, so don't worry about what I wrote down here. Um, so basically it's going to tell you right here, it's going to tell you your main stats, what what's your priority. So agility is number one, mastery, verse, and crit are about the same, and then haste. This is single target, remember, because we put one number of en enemies, one. Um, for multiple target, it might be haste instead of verse and crit. So anyways, you're going to take this pawn string right here. You're going to take the parentheses too. Just copy all this. Copy. You're going to go into WoW. You're going to type slash pawn. And then um, when you first come up, pawn is going to come up with a bunch of shit. Like all this, all these down here will, will be like up in your top part. They won't be uh, discarded. So just ignore those. You're going to click uh, any of them, click uh, your first most, and then click import. And then you're going to post, you're going to paste everything you had there right into there. So click OK. And now all my weights, all my weights are in here. So now you can start comparing. Um, what that means is you can see here, these, these pants I have in my bag are a 3% upgrade. So compared to these ones, my four set, which that's why I'm not using them because it's my four set. Um, compared, to, but compared to them, um, these pants are better by three percent. So that's how you kind of use pawn with gear. Whatever you get, it'll show if it's an upgrade or not. 
and how much of an upgrade it is. So if you want to compare side by side, like rings, like for example, if I have this one out here, um, and I put this here, this is a, a very haste heavy uh, ring. So that's why this one is said to be better. But how would I know, you know, how would I know which ring this one is the ring of the minute mirrors? How would I know which one it's better than? Um, so basically I put the ring here and then I can um, compare both rings. So here's Band of Twisted Bark, my first ring. And it says that Band of Twisted Bark is better by uh, 1K, not even 1K. So I'm going to put in the haste heavy trinket here. And now it says that Ring of Minute Mirrors is the better one compared to this one. So that's the one I'm going to replace, just like that. Um, that's how I use it for gear. And it's pretty simple. And I think it's better than actually going through simulation craft and taking all that time to do that. So basically, um, afterwards, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want, so this is how you kind of, that was how you use like get your scales for your character and how you uh, compare gear with pawn. Aside from that, what I do is I uh, actually compare trinkets. So how that is done, you're going to leave this up here and you're going to space down here. So basically what you have on is your trinkets one and two. So this is the ID for my trinket one, which is nightmare eggshell. And then the second trinket, trinket two, is my second trinket that I have on currently, which is uh, elemental foci. So um, basically you want to leave that. And what you want to do is come down here. You're going to want to type copy. And then whatever trinkets you want to compare, like let's say I want to compare uh, these two are already on, so you don't need to compare those because they're already in your sim, right? They're already here, so you don't need to worry about that. So what you want to do is type copy, and what you want to, let's say I want to sim eggshell and arcano digit. So I got these two. I'm going to type slash sim c with those on, and I'm going to only copy trinket 1 and 2. That's it. Copy, control c, and now this copy part is basically you're naming it. So copy equals, it's it's my eggshell, right? So egg, and you're gonna wanna put an underscore, that's kinda like a space in this case. So egg and arcano, that's naming it. That's naming the trinkets that I want to sim. Um, so I'm gonna paste that there. So this is just saying um, name, name this sim egg and arcano and trinkets one and two the IDs. So this is egg and this is arcano digit. So simple as that. If you want to sim more, you're going to go copy and let's sim, um, let's do uh, arcano and foci, arcano digit and elemental foci. So slash sim c. Here it comes. Trinket one and two. Copy those. You're going to go back. You're going to say um, name it. So foci and arcano. And then you're going to drop that right below there. So it's very simple to do. Now what this does is, let's say I have a bunch of them that I need to sim, which I did already, so I'll show you that, so I don't need these. But once you click sim, you're gonna wanna keep this on number of enemies one for now, and make sure it's still 100,000 iterations. So basically I simmed um, one target here. So here's one target, this is my, so Monk Alice, where it says your name right here is kind of what you had on already. So that refers to this right here is your original um, sim. So that's what your name refers to is, is those trinkets. So basically um, here's egg and arcano for a uh, second target for um, single target still. So egg and arcano is right there, but it still says that what I had on originally is the best one, which was for single target, which was uh, Nightmare Eggshell and um, Nightmare Eggshell and Foki were the two best. That's what I had on when I first originally simmed. So basically, you're, you do that and you find out your single target damage. But we all know that Nighthold doesn't really, really uh, thrive well with single target. A lot of bosses are not single target. So you can sim however number of enemies you want. What I usually do is right down here. So these scales are the first tab right here. These are my scales. Um, the next tab is one target, as you can see down here. Then 
two targets, three targets, five, eight, and ten targets. So basically you just change that to how you like. So let's say so do one target, sim, sim your trinkets, you know, with, with all the all the trinkets you want to compare. You put them in here. Uh, you sim single target, this will come up. It'll show you which trinket um, which trinket pair will be the best. Then you go back here, you go two targets, three targets, sim, five targets, sim, on and on until you're done, until you're, you, you want to do whatever, how many you want to get up to. Again, what I do is one, two, three, five, eight, and ten. So it says one is what I had on, the best. Two targets is Nightmare Egg and Arcano for myself. Um, three targets is Egg and Arcano still. Five targets is Foki Arcano. And then eight targets is Egg Arcano. Ten targets is Foki Arcano. But there, you see how s slight differences the, these are? So like these numbers are very, very similar. So it, it doesn't really matter because um, they're so close together. So I just kind of wear Foki and Arcano because it's... Uh, because it's the best one overall for me. Um, that is for multiple targets, of course. So, basically, um, that's kind of how you sim and compare trinkets. It's not really, um, it's not very hard at all. It's kind of simple, actually. So once you get used to it, it'll it'll really increase over time, and you'll 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 be fine. Um, so I hope that helped, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.